Lawrence Field. Yeah, if we went at the right time, we'd probably catch them bathing their lily whites down there in the creek. We'd give them a good dunking. Too long in there, Steve. Right. What do you reckon, Ned? <laughs> Dirty the creek. <laughs> Don't laugh about it. It's serious. Our horses have got to... Well, we're going to go down there and challenge them. They're going to lay down their arms for us. Look, Ned, why, why do we even have to go challenge them? Why can't we just go down there where it's nice and quiet and they're not looking? We just get the stuff and go. I don't care how we do it, but we've got to do it. Horse stealing's one thing, mate. We don't have to kill them, surely. I've come this far. to be pushed anymore. He's come here and he's prospecting for the first time for years. He's happy. They've got to come in here and drive him out. How far can you run? I've come this far. I'm not going any farther. How far do you think we have to go before we find them? From here, about 20 miles. 20 miles? Yeah. What do you know about the Kellys? Only what I've read in the police gazette. Yeah. Everyone knows that stuff, man. Maybe what do you know? What do you know? That's all I know. Well, they're fighters, aren't they? I mean, they're fighters. shot me first. Anyway, I thought it was Strawn, the one who said he wouldn't ask me to stand, but it'd shoot me down like a dog. But I was wrong. It's Lonigan. Noon, Kennedy and Scanlon return to camp. Kelly calls on them to surrender. Scanlon appeared to go for his gun. McIntyre seizes his opportunity. Kennedy, outnumbered, runs for his life. McIntyre flees towards Mansfield. But he is so terrified he leaves his horse and hides in a wombat hole. Alive, Kennedy will die a slow death at the mercy of ants, flies and dingoes. Kelly decides. <laughs> 